Hello, my lovely grade 3 students. I hope you have already seen my video with lesson 1 about dividing two and three digit numbers by one digit number. You revised all this topic. Today it's time for lesson 2 and our topic is decimals. It's actually not new topic for you. You have already known what is decimal. But today we will learn another detailed information about decimals. First of all, let us see what is decimal. Decimal is a number. As whole numbers and as fractions, decimal is also number. Actually, this is type of fraction. So decimal, they are not whole numbers. They are type of fraction numbers. But let us see why they are called decimals. Okay. Uh, as uh, we know about fraction that I have a rectangle and I will divide this rectangle into 10 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have a rectangle and I divided my rectangle into 10 equal parts. I want to shade four of them. How can I describe uh, these shaded parts as a fraction? Four out of ten. I have ten total parts. Four of them are shaded. So as a fraction of shaded parts, I can write four out of ten. It is fraction of shaded parts. But what about unshaded parts? 4 out of 10 for shaded parts and 6 out of 10 for unshaded parts. So 4 tenths and 6 tenths, they are fractions. They are ordinary fractions. I want to write them in different way that we we'll call decimals. 4 out of 10, how I can write? You see any integer part here, any whole part? No, there is no any whole part. Like I don't have any whole shaded rectangle here. I have only one rectangle with four parts shaded in it. So I don't have any whole part. Zero point, it means no whole part. And so now this part, it was for fraction part that is called decimal place what is in my denominator it is 10 if in the ordinary fraction there is 10 in denominator it means we have one place with our decimal number one place of decimal one decimal place and I will write for here 0 0.4 it is, sorry, a small place, so 4 tenths, it's as fraction, 0 0.4, it is 4 decimal number. This is ordinary fraction and this is decimal fraction or decimal number. So decimal number is a number that we use integer part, point and decimal part. This is integer part, this is a point, we have to use point and decimal place, decimal part we use. Like... 14 is two digit number. Yeah, 14 is two digit number. But if I have 1.4, I cannot uh, tell that this is two digit number. Two digit number, it's about integer numbers. It's about whole number that one and four, there are two digit, this is two digit number, but 1.4, it is two place decimal. 1.4 is two place decimal. But not always we are naming decimals as 1.4. How we can read them officially, like mathematically correctly? So, uh, what you see from here? You see that we have some integer part, like whole part, and we have some decimal part. Okay, so it means it is one and four tenths. Let me write it here again. So one 
This is one and four tenths. We already know how to read fractions. First, we have to start from numerator and we have to say it in cardinal number, four tenths. And this is with ordinal number. And we have, if we have whole part, we say one and four tenths. So it is one and four tenths. You know why s yes, because uh, we have here four tenths, not one tenths. So the same we can say about the decimal one and four tenths. If I have two and three seven, we say the two point three seven. Two point three seven. This is short name how we can read decimal two point three seven. Sometimes they used to say 37, but officially in a short way, actually in um, international curriculum, they used to say 2.37. I met uh, 2.37, 2.37, most of them, but the, as officially they, in a short way they say 2.37. Uh, but official name, mathematically correct name, for as official decimal name, is 2 and 37. So, 37 what? What do we see? We see that there are two digits in decimal part, in decimal place. It is two place decimal, two digits. It means in the denominator we have two zeros, like this is two and thirty-seven hundreds, so it will be two and thirty-seven hundred. Yeah, this is how we can read decimal. Let me write for you some decimals. For example, 12 and 5 tenths. decimals before me and now I will write uh, answers and you will check your work and I'm going to write some 63 63 thousands okay let us start so 12 and 5 tenths. Oh, 12 and it means 12 points because 12 is integer, right? And 5, 5 tenths. So tenths, it means I have one decimal place. And this is 5. 24 and 16 hundredths. 24 and 16 Hundreds, hundreds, it's important hundreds. Hundreds, it means we have two decimal places. We already have two digits to fill in them. One and six, 24.16. It's 24 and 16 hundreds. What about 63 thousands? As we see, the, we don't say, we don't see any number and so it means we don't have or we have zero in integer part. 63 thousands. Again and again, this part is important. Thousands, thousands. Let us see. Thousands, it means we should have three decimal places because thousands is thousand. This is a number with three zeros. Three zeros, it shows in our decimal number we should have three decimal places. 
But as we see here, it is 63. Let us see, what, what can we do? You know it already that uh, for another number, the non-existing number, we can put zero. But how? You can think that, okay, we have 63. Let me write 63 and put zero here. Or maybe I will write 63 here and put zero here. Oh, let us see. Which of them is correct? Let us see which of them is correct. When I read this number, I will read 0 and, or just, 63 thousands. But do you see 63 here? No, you see 630 thousands. So actually, you know this already that we can add zeros how many we want and it will not change the value of decimal. So there is no sense to write 63 and 0. The correct answer is 0 0.063. It is how we can read decimals, how we can change them uh, to words or from words we can change them to digital uh, form. Okay. Now, I want to talk about how can we plot decimals on number line. To plot decimal, to plot a number on number line, it means to put numbers on number line on the same, on the proper places. So, I want to plot 5.3 on number line. How should I do this? Okay, I will draw a piece of number line that starts from 5 and ends uh, uh, with 6. Because you have already known that 5.3, it is a decimal, it's a number between 5 and 6 holes. So, the middle part will be 5.5. .5. So, 5.3, it will be somewhere here. 5.3, what does it mean? It means that 5 holes, 3 tenths. Already 5 holes and 0.3, it is 1 place decimal. 1 place decimal, it means 1, 0. In denominator, we have 0 and numerator is 3. So, the space between 5 and 6, we divide into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Like, there are 10 equal distances between 5 and 6. And each of them is 1 out of 10. Each of them is 1 out of 10. Like, this one will be 3 out of 10. 5 holes, 3 tenths. This is decimal number, 5 and 3 tenths. 5 and 3 tenths, this is mixed, this is mixed number. Okay, so from here, let us now see how we can convert decimal to fraction, fraction to decimal, or decimal to mixed number, mixed number to uh, decimal. Let us see. As we have already talked about this, that if I have 0 0.7, it means 7 out of 10. If I have 0 0.23, it is 23 out of 100. If I have 0 0.05, so I see 5, it means my numerator will be 5 because there is no meaning to write 0, 5. We don't have any number starting with 0. But we see two places here, two decimal places. So it means in our denominator, it should be 100. And when we did it, it is 500. It is 500. Okay, let us see how we can go back. Like how, if we have fraction, how we can go back to decimal. For example, I have 3 tenths, 0 0.3.
I have two and seven tens. It is two point seven. If I have five and four hundreds, this is five point hundreds. It means two decimal places. I have one digit. It will be five point zero four. That is five and four hundreds. So mix number, I change to decimal. Mix number, I change to decimal. Fraction, proper fraction, I can change to decimal. So, but there are some cases that we don't have any ten hundred in our denominator, and they ask us to change it to decimal. How we can do it? Let us see. I have four fifths. Four fifths is a fraction, and as I see that I don't have any ten or hundred in my denominator to change it to decimal. But actually, Miss Arzu said that we have to look at denominator. If it is ten, it means one decimal place. If it is hundred, it means two decimal places. But we can change five to ten. How we can do it? Yes. We can multiply 5 by 2, but we know the main rule, the main property of fraction, that if we are dividing or multiplying denominator by any number, the same operation, but the same number, we have to do by the numerator. Like 5 multiplied by 2, it means 4, we also should multiply by 2. Now, I will get new fraction that is equivalent to 4 fifths. I put 8 tenths. Now everything is easy. Now we can write it as 0 0.8. Let us see another example. I have 3 fourths. Okay, I know that I should have 10 or 100 in denominator. 4 multiplied by what is 10, mm, somehow it's a little bit difficult for us. Let us make it 100. 4 times 25 is 100. So 3 we also should multiply by 25. We will get 75 or 100, 75 hundred. Now everything is easy to write it as 0 0.75. There can be another case that it, it can be difficult to change a denominator to 10 or 100. Don't worry about it. Uh, for your grade, you will not meet such kind of fractions, such kind of problems. It's for upper grades. For your grade, everything will be okay with this. So, now we will look at another detail about decimal. It is how to compare and how to order decimals. Let us see first comparing. Okay. I have 3.2 and 4.7. It is 3 holes to tens, 4 holes 7 tens. It is clear that 4 holes uh, and 7 tens is bigger. So, Mr. Crocodile will eat the bigger number. So, four, tenths, uh, 4 and 7 tenths is bigger than 3 and 2 tenths. If I have 3.2 and 3.7, okay, I see that my integer parts are same, 3 holes and 3 holes. But this is, is 2 out of 10. For this case, it is 7 out of 10. Mm. For which case, the shaded parts are more. Of course, Mr. Crocodile will eat 3.7. There can be another situation, like, let us see. Five point eight, five point twenty three. Let us compare these two decimals. Oh, maybe.
Okay, you can look and see that, oh, of course, fives are same. 23 is bigger than 8. It means 5.23 is bigger. Now, to compare decimals, my advice to you, make them the same place decimals. Look, this decimal is one place decimal. Why it is one place decimal? Because uh, in decimal part we have one digit, so it is one place decimal. But this decimal is two place decimal. Oh. So remember, we cannot compare one place decimal with two place decimal. We should make them the same decimal places. So, of course and of course, we cannot cancel three. We cannot do this. So, we can add another zero next to eight. Now, already, we have two place decimal that we can compare. And now we see that 5.80 is more than 5.23. So, Mr. Point, sorry, Mr. Crocodile is going to eat 5.8. So, we have already learned how to compare decimals, and if you know how to compare decimals, it's very easy to order them. Like, if I have 4.6, 5.17, and 4.32, okay, I have three decimals, and I want to order this from greatest to smallest. Yeah, I want to start to order them from greatest to smallest. Okay. Uh, let me look first at integer part. Four, five, four. Of course, it doesn't interesting for me. It doesn't matter for me what is in decimal part. If 5 is bigger than 4, so it means it is the largest one. 5.17. Okay. Now I have two numbers, 4.6 and 4.32. Uh, I want to compare them, but I remember that they should be same decimal place numbers. Let me add zero. It is 4.60, 4.32. Oh, 4.60 is bigger. I have to start from the greatest one. So 4.6. But you see, I wrote here 4.6. Remember, you will use it in your upper grades in your future international exams. This is help. You help yourself 